We are back. It has been a couple of months. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages on Instagram from everybody asking when are we going to be posting another video. And um, just as a reminder, we are not posting regularly. We are posting every probably couple of months. Um, it's just too crazy. It's nuts here. It's, it's guys, chaotic it's crazy. here. And Before with Brindley, it was two on one. Now it's man to man coverage, and it's just nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how you do it when I work. It's hard. So. <laughs> That was just a reminder that we're not posting regularly. If you really wanted updates on our life and the kids, um, follow me on Instagram, and that's where I, I post regularly, so that's probably your best bet. But we are here to give like a big just update on everybody, so while the kids are sleeping, which we got a new baby monitor since Caden has arrived, and this is the, the baby sense. It's a split screen. And it's awesome quality. Yeah, awesome, it's fantastic. Awesome, awesome. We had that DXR8 infant optics or whatever. This thing just puts that to shame. Which that gets really good reviews <clears throat> on Amazon, and I'm not really sure why. That was the worst monitor, and yeah. So yeah, we got this Baby Sense this monitor, and it's it's awesome. Um. So, anyways, I guess let's just start. A lot of you guys were asking how I was feeling. It's been two months since um, Katie was born. And it took about six to seven weeks for me to recover. It was a hard delivery. Um, if you need want details or more information on how the delivery was, I will link the birth vlog from Caden below, and you could check that out, and you'll get all the details that I'm not going to go into <laughs> again. Actually, one thing I do want to point out, though, is in the last video, we talked about the nurses getting up on the table and pushing down and everything. We realized during her last follow-up about a week and a half, two weeks ago, they were actually trying to break his collarbone. So that was actually trying to happen. Luckily, the nurses were unsuccessful during that time, but we found that out and we're like, holy smokes. Yeah, he that came out in time for that we, to happen. That we thought. But nobody um, tells us that. I don't know yeah. why they don't tell you that. So that was like the last resort type of thing. So it got a lot more serious than we even realized. During, during my OB visit, she looked up Caden's, whatever she did, chart or whatever, and it literally was written like severe all over it, how he had severe shoulder dystocia. So. They said that they tried, they have all these options of what they try to get the baby out and the last, you know, thing is to get on the table, I guess, and break, try to break his collarbone. So they tried all methods and nothing was working. So that's how hard it was to get him out. But again, check out our birth vlog. You'll get all the details on mm -hmm. that. Um, so yeah, it, this was a long recovery, um, but I am feeling better. I just started working out a couple days ago. My body is so sore. I have not worked out in a long time. Because IVF, I didn't really work out. and Yeah, we look fantastic already. So, will you say that? I mean it. <laughs> um, I still have ways to go. I was going to just show you guys, like, my belly and stuff. Do um, they want to see my belly, too? They no, can. Just, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's only been two months in. And I think with Brinley, it was, like, nine months since my belly was really gone. But I just, I, it's bothering me this time. It's no, bothering me. The reason why you got a little bit better belly going on this time is you're not eating. The kids gang up on you and you can't eat lunch. Yeah, I eat, Brindley, I eat Brindley's food since she never eats. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so here's my belly right now. Um, just so for you people who, like, you see those people who, like, don't have a belly. But if this, is, this is what's real life, I feel like, is, you know. It might be a little hard to see right now. You're wearing black and it's a little dark in here. Um, oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. So I still look like I'm pregnant, but I'm working on it. Um, and then what else did I want to? I'm getting more energy, which is nice. I don't know. Pregnancy took a lot out of me. So we want to update on the kids, but we kind of want to like wait for them to wake up and show you them and everything. And I also, I haven't showed Caden's room since it's been finished. So I want to show you Caden's room, Brinley's room, um, some of like our favorite things that we use for Caden that he loves, which I guess he I could is, just do yeah, now. Yeah, he's, oh, I can't wait to talk about him. He's such a good Yeah, he, I, we can't wait to talk about him. He's so yeah. good. I can't wait to talk about Brindley either, but she just, she's going to babble, babble, babble. <laughs> she, Brindley's probably going to talk over us, but yeah. anyways, so we'll wait for them to wake up and then we'll give you an update on them. Whoops, that's bright. Hi, buddy. Oh, did you spit up a little bit? Hi, Kaden. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Kaden loves to smile. 
He's our smiley baby. Yes. Are you so happy? <laughs> Ryan is feeding Caden and Brinley is watching a show, eating a snack since they both woke up at the same time. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time and show you both of their rooms. You guys have not seen Caden's room yet. Like fully, I guess you could say. So the color scheme, there's really no theme. It's just the color scheme is like blue and gray. Um, that ottoman goes downstairs, but it doesn't fit with all the baby stuff. So it's up here for now. Um, the rocking chair and that table were in Brinley's room, but now they're in here. And then we got pictures, same dresser as Brinley, but different color. So yeah, very simple, just how I like it. And then I'll show you Brinley's room for those who are newer. Um, she's got her toys down here. This chair actually goes downstairs. It goes with that ottoman, but again, we just don't have the room. And I actually like it up here because her and I could fit perfectly in that chair and read our books at nighttime. Um, so that'll stay up here for a little while. And then her crib, she's gonna be in a crib for a little while longer, but there's really no need to switch her yet. She does well in it. And then she has an additional dresser. We didn't feel like we needed one for Caden, so we didn't get him the tall one. And then all her books. She is such a book lover. She loves it. Loves reading. So um, when Brinley is done watching her show, we could talk to her because I'm sure she'll talk your ear off. And then I'll show you Caden. Um, as soon as he eats, he's like super happy afterwards. So I'll show you him as well. So Miss Brinley loves to play Barbies. These are my Barbies growing up. She will play with them all day long. We also have three doll houses in here that she plays with. Um, the one that you guys can see back there, that is a massive Barbie doll house that I found on the street, literally, and got it for free. She loves it. She puts all her Mickey friends on there and Elsa and Anna. Elsa Anna. You like Elsa Anna, huh? Yeah. Brinley is 29 month, months old, so she's almost two and a half. She is talking like crazy. She doesn't stop, actually. <laughs> right, do you just talk all day long? You talk all day long? Never stops. But now you're so quiet. Um, she is still doing her therapy. She's doing her feeding and feeding therapy twice a week and OT once a week. She's progressing. Um, she is doing well. But it's a slow, more so in feeding, it's a slow process. There are some <laughs> skills that she struggled with that she is doing well in, and there's, you know, other areas where she needs a lot of work still, but we're working through it. Um, she struggles to gain weight still. She has been in the 25 pound mark probably for about four months. She can't get out of there. Um, so, yeah, do we wish that she would gain weight? Yes. Um, but she struggles with that. She always has, ever since she was born. So, other than that, therapies are going good. Um, I just said she was a busybody. Mm -hmm. I see how she loves to play with all the dollhouses and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Caden fell back asleep. He never even ate like I told you he no, was going to eat. No, now mm. he's going to get up. So, just come uh -oh. in here. So, as soon as he eats, um, uh -oh. we'll show you how happy he gets. What's the matter? Anything else on Brinley? I wish she would talk to you guys, but she's like in the zone right now. Oh, yeah. You put Barbies in front of her, she's in the zone. Yes, I know. Yeah. Well, I'll try to it get her talking. There we go. Um, After dinner, she gets really hyper, so we can, oh, yeah, we can try idea. to vlog then. But other than that, I mean, I know you guys, I, I post a lot on Instagram of the kids, and you guys are always so nice, you know, when I post pictures of her and Kaden and... Yeah, she's finally getting more hair. Like, it took her like two years to finally get hair. So now we can put it up in a pony and stuff. So she actually hates when it's in her face. She always swipes at it, yeah. so. But yeah, when she's a little more like hyper, um, we'll start filming her. Me hat. Okay, go get her a hat. Hi. Did you eat your bottle? Did you eat? Was it so good? Kaden. You're looking at the camera, huh? 
So this is our big boy, Caden. He's two months old. He is 15, probably 15 and a half pounds. And so he's gained five pounds in two months because he was almost 10 pounds when he was born. Hi. <laughs> he's such a happy baby. He smiles a lot. He's super chill. He is 94th percentile for weight and off the charts with his height. Hi! <laughs> um, he is 99th percentile for his height. He, get, he um, grew three inches in a month, which I made the lady do it again because I didn't believe her. Hi! How are you? Are you going to smile? Yeah? He's cooing, talking, smiling. He smiles a lot more, but I think the camera's a distraction. But yeah, he's definitely our chill baby. He is pretty easy going. He gets up one time in the middle of the night to eat. Like a snack is what we call it. It's literally a 30 minute process from start to finish. And then he goes right back down. He typically gets up around, I'd say anywhere from two to four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> See, he just does that. Yeah, you're so happy. Yeah. He's a mama's boy. He's definitely a mama's boy. Totally. Mm-hmm. That and he spits up on me all the time. Too. Yeah, he's not, a, he's not a, he's not a, he doesn't spit up a lot. Like his no. sister, who sped up all the time. You pee? Sometimes you'll spit up with a burp, but you're pretty good, aren't you? No, there, during witching hours or in the first like month, he would only want Jess. Only want his mama. I still think he's kind of like that, though. Yeah, not as often, though. No. He's kind of died down the last couple of weeks. Yeah. But yeah, he is, um, he's, he's really good. We're, we're very pleased to have a little bit of a break because Brinley was such a difficult baby. Like, really difficult. <laughs> and she never ate, never slept. Mm -hmm. He eats, oh, never so he eats had. five ounces every feeding. Um, sometimes five and a half. He is eating probably two bottles of my milk and then the rest is formula. Um, and then I'll nurse and then I'll, t I'll supplement with formula afterwards, but my supply is going down. That's the only reason for that. But yeah, so yeah, pretty good. Um, this is the Baby Bajoran Bounce Seat. If you look it up, it's like $200 and I got it on Facebook Marketplace for 40. I got it when Brinley was like, I don't know, a few Brinley, months old. Brinley hated it. Brinley hated it, he loves it. We put him in here every time after he eats. It's a good, it props him up pretty well. And like Ooh. there's different settings, so he can go lower if you wanted him to, so. This is another thing that Caden absolutely loves. This is the Play Gym from Love Every. I can put the link in the description below. Um, we did not have this for Brinley. We got this when I was pregnant with Caden, and he loves it. I did a review on it a few videos back. I could probably try to find that and link it as well. But it's great for when he's on his back and then when we flip him over to do tummy time. He can spend an hour on here easily because there's got all these pictures he can look at and there's like a mirror as well that he looks at. Kaden! This is his new thing is putting his hands in his mouth all the time. All the time. Hi, baby! Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's two months. He's so big.
Somebody's Let's super go hyper. To the doctors. You, oh, because you went to the doctors? Hey, Brindley, yeah. what happened at the doctors? What happened at the doctors? Cried. What? Cried. You cried? But what happened? Did you get a shot in the leggy? Yeah. You didn't cry for that. You were brave and strong. strong. What color band aid did you get? Purple. Yeah, did Caden get a shot? In the Cars. Oh, he got a car band aid? Yeah. He did. You I have a car band aid. Mm -hmm. He was good. Brinley's hyper because she had a good dinner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you had hot. Dog, which I never keep happened. Keep I keep, I keep being common pumpkins. Common pumpkins. What? Pumpkins. Pumpkins? What about pumpkins? Okay, see ya. <laughs> so this is like, oh. <laughs> oh, we haven't talked about this. This monkey. Mama always has to hold it. Oh, you're tooting. <laughs> you're tooting. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> yep, yep. I can look on. All right, this monkey, Brinley, always, like, first thing in the morning. <laughs> See, I can't talk. First thing in the morning, Ryan brings her downstairs and she says, Mama, hold monkey, Mama, hold monkey. And then all throughout the day, Ryan, how many times do you think? Uh, 30. Yeah. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Kid down. All day. She, I, if I'm not holding this monkey, like watch this. I'm going to put the monkey right next uh -oh. to me. Gonna... Okay, Mama's... right next to me. You see Mama's that? put the monkey down. No, you don't have to... Oh, shush. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm you. I'm you. I don't know. There's a, an obsession with this monkey for some reason. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys, or I failed to mention that Caden is two months old, and he I just put all his three-month clothes away. He is wearing three to six-month clothes. That's how big he is. I call him Tank. And it's just insane. Like, Brinley was so tiny. Like, Brinley can still wear... Actually, she's phasing out of 24 months, but she's in 2T, 3T, but... Yeah, it's just, hi, Kaden! Oh, we didn't talk about them? So yeah! Are you touching, brother? Yeah. So, Brinley, it took, what did you say, Ryan, two months? <laughs> oh, two Five months, months for her to touch him. So, yeah, she would not go near, like, touch him. She would talk about him all the time, but she wouldn't touch him. But she's much better at that, which is good. <laughs> And I think like the last thing we wanted to address was um, what is it, what it has been like going from yeah. parenting to one kid to two kids. I think the most challenging thing is that we don't have any time for ourselves, like not even a second. And when I'm by myself with the kids, when I'm by myself with the kids, there's days where I don't even know if I like ate lunch or not. Like I'm, it's just so crazy. And I will say that if you are going from one kid to two, my recommendation would be that when the baby comes, ask for as much help as you can. I did not hesitate to ask for help. Um, I had a lot of, well, my mom and Ryan's mom helped me out a lot. My mom came over a lot and that was huge just to have two people here. So don't be scared to ask for help, just do it. Cause it's already stressful in itself. I'm getting bossed around again. So, right, Ryan, just that we just don't yeah. have any time for ourselves, yeah. and every second of the day is with these kids. It really, really is. Yeah. But we chose we this look, life, we and... Look, we look forward to 7 o'clock. That's, that's nap. That's bedtime for Brittany. Yeah, but then we still have Caden, but usually yeah. he kind of sleeps on us during that time, so... Yeah. But at least it's like two-on-one now again. Yeah. But, I mean, it's good. Like, I like... I like... I like this. I like having two kids. It's, I was hesitant about a boy, but I actually really like it. It's awesome. Um, and he's just so different. And he's just, they, they could it's have fun. Been more different. They really yeah. could. I mean, she has so many issues with splitting up and acid reflux. He is completely opposite. He's and, just over there gnawing on his fingers. And Brinley is such, at such a fun age right now, too. Like, she's just hyper all the time. But she's a needy one. 
Randy. Get back here. <laughs> I slipped that on the couch. <laughs> She's a sassafras. No. No. Not mama. Anyways, anything else, Ryan? I think this is probably a long enough video in itself. What? Oh, and there goes Kaden. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just like a little update um, on how everything's going. We're good, we're, we're overwhelmed, we're very busy. That's just the honest truth. Um, I'm glad that we could update you guys. Again, follow us on Insta follow me on Instagram if you want more updates. Um, but I hope everyone has a good Halloween. Oh, what are the kids gonna be for Halloween? Let's, let's do that real quick. Brinley, what are you gonna be for Halloween? What are you gonna be? Yeah, a ladybug. Mama's making some of your costume. Brinley, what's Caden gonna be? A Subway sandwich. Hey, take it back here. Dada's not gonna be anything. Yeah. Dada's sitting on the couch. Brinley, can you say bye to your friends? Bye bye. Say love you. Bye you. <laughs>